What's up, everybody? It's Jason from Straight Edge Knives. Uh, coming at you with a little bit of a different video today. Um, it's not on a production knife or anything. This is actually on a knife that I made myself. It's a little EDC cleaver style blade. Um, you know, I guess for size comparison, uh, well, we got like I think it's about like a little bit over a four inch blade here, blade length. Uh, the handle I would say is probably about three and a quarter inches. Uh, actually, it probably should have made it an inch longer. This is something that I made myself. I'm an amateur blade maker at best. Um, but uh, let's go for size comparisons here real quick. I'll show you guys. Here's the Topps Knife Sheep Creek. Um, if I hold these up to, uh, up to each other, put them kind of blade to blade, um, the blade links are about the same, um, actually, blade edge wise. I have maybe just a little bit more tip on this one than say the Sheep's Creek. And then like I said, handle wise, the Sheep's Creek's about an inch longer. Uh, so I, I, theoretically going back and looking at it now, I probably should have made this a handle about an inch longer. But uh, you know, it's something I'm working on as I'm building knives, you know, I'm, I'm learning as I go and uh, figuring out like different handle shapes and things like that. So eh, it is what it is. But hey, let's get into this. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys, this actually is a functional blade even though it has a, a fantasy look to it um, it is a functional blade uh, and I think this is something you can carry every day you know you come in here you got to cut some cardboard while you're out at the warehouse or whatever you come in there and cut cardboard if you had to uh, you're out at the work site and uh, you're like oh man I got to cut this ratchet strap you know I got to slice a piece of this off or whatever you know having this acute kind of tip here you can kind of come in and you can do like a nice little drag cut and it'll man, cut cut the little piece right off. You gotta split this thing down the middle. You could stab it in there and come through and cut it in half if you had to do that. You know. Um, let's say you're out at the you're out in the woods and you know. Uh, well, I've already kind of made some feather sticks, but um, you're out in the woods, right? You come in here. Got to make some feather sticks, make some curls and stuff for for the fire. Get it going kids are out there freezing you got to make some hot dogs you know you can come in here and shave off pieces make little fire curls make fire sticks if you had to uh, make notches if you had to um, let's say uh, got to process some wood down right here's a piece of a two by four uh, put that right there actually it's the other part of my batoning stick that kind of broke come in here split some wood down if you had to Make some uh, make some more kindling for your fire. Um, let's see if I can make this work right here. Piece getting a little narrow. Bam, split that up. There you go. See, you can split some wood down with this thing. Uh, what else we got here? Got some rubber propane hose, right? Reinforced. This is uh, that's pretty thick. Pretty thick stuff. It, it takes even with big bigger blades. I have to. Put a little effort into cutting this because it's so thick but uh come in here bam oh. i cut a piece off but it fell off so let's cut another one there we go bam there you go see another piece actually if i had to cut that in half it just kind of come in here rock it down do a straight push cut Got two pieces of that little hose now. Uh, let's go a little something thicker. Uh, where you go? Rubber, the old school rubber snubber straps for putting stuff down. You know, you can kind of come in here, cut that right in half, cut multiple chunks off if you needed to. And there we go, we got multiple chunks here of that rubber. Uh, let's get this stuff off of here. Let's do the old phone book kind of little so we take the corners and we just kind of cut pieces off the corner right make it snow as I like to say because it creates all kinds of little confetti you know woo, confetti so let's see it boom making it snow baby making it snow oh you guys see that it is making it snow and also with this tip the way it is kind of coming out you can't stab with it. Look at that. Let's do that again, right? 
So if you had to stab something, let's see if we can see how deep that went. The tip's just barely coming out right here. So I went about maybe a quarter of the way through this catalog. Um, about that deep, almost half. Not bad for considering this is like a cleaver. Let's see, let's take a look at this tip. No damage to the tip. Uh, actually, no rolling or chipping on the edges. This is 80 CRV2 steel um, that I basically shaped out myself, uh, grinded it down, heat treated it myself. Um, so I'm not sure what the Rockwell hardness is on this. Um, I haven't got that far yet. I need to buy one of those testers. But I think I might have did a pretty decent job here, man. I'm, I'm not seeing any rolling or chipping or nothing like that on here. So not bad. Um, but yeah, man, it's actually a pretty cool little cleaver. Like, like you could do just about, I think anything you could do with a regular style knife, but you get a cool factor with this. You know what I mean? Something people look, you know, you pull a knife out, like, oh, cool knife. You pull this out, they go, hey, what the hell is that? You know? So, uh, pretty cool. You know, even with the old school hole here, like the old school butcher cleavers where they used to hang them up. But, you know, I, I kind of went with this purple and gold handle. Um, Kind of reminiscent of like a, something like a orc or a goblin would use in like the Lord of the Rings, um, but you know, yeah, I just thought it'd be fun, like a cool, fun new design, something different out there, you know. And uh, I think it works pretty good. Um, I wouldn't say I designed this really to be a chopper because again, the handle I should have made the handle maybe an inch longer. That's on me, but you know, if I had to choke back on it a little bit. And I had to come in here, do some little, little chops, you know, here, like I cut that piece off. Um, yeah, I could, I could come in here and do some chopping. Oh, actually, let's do this. Uh, so here I got this stick here. It's got kind of chopped a little bit of a point down to it, but let's see if we can make it a little better, right? Yeah, you can come in here if you had to and do it's like little mini chops, you know, because like I said, the handle I'm like little chipping away chops, you know. But but if you had to do it that way, you could. Although honestly, with the way the handle design is, I probably would just be better off doing slices like this if I had to make that a ten stake. Um, just that it, it is what it is. It's my fault for not making the handle a little longer, but. But so you come in here and sharpen this down to a spear point if you had to. Take a look at the edge again. Yeah, it's still sharp, guys. It's still really sharp. Um, pretty cool, man. I think it came out pretty good for what it is. Something a little different, you know. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of it. Um, you know, is this something that you guys would carry? Something you would rock? You know. The, obviously the handle was a little bit bigger like I'd say about an inch bigger if we had the handle maybe say it about the size of the Sheep's Creek handle I think it'd be a pretty good fit there um, uh, in the hand I mean it feels pretty good the way it is um, like I, I can grip it you know I can get a good solid grip on it um, you know if I was carrying this out in public I don't have a sheet tour yet if I was carrying it out in public and I had to pull it for self-defense something else I'll point out is this top part of this edge here this part you know, if you had to come in and do some slashes, um, you, you, you'd do some really deep, nasty cuts, I can tell you. Um, also, having this swoop back here kind of gives you a nice place for your thumb for, like, for like push cutting and stuff. Um, I think if you're out at the campground, too, or whatever, camping in the kitchen, had to cut up some zucchinis, some sausages, and stuff like that, yeah, you could easily come in here and do some fine chopping with this if you needed to for, for food prep. Um, so... Hey, it's pretty cool. Again, hey, something, guys. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know. Uh, uh, would you know? Would this be something you, you know, you would rock, you'd wear, and use if it was available to the public? Leave a uh, leave it down in the comments. And if you like what you're seeing here on the video and the channel, please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Uh, let's help this channel grow so I can keep making knives and I can keep showing you stuff and coming in and doing reviews on production knives and all that other fun stuff.
Hey, thanks again for watching. You stay safe out there. Stay sharp. We'll see you next time.